to this note seven. Ah, here we go. Got some cushion to protect it, and bang. Here is the Galaxy Note 7. This is gorgeous. The box says it all. All right, so let's get into this. This is gorgeous. What a nice looking box. So we slide out this sleeve. The Note 7 is right there. This is beautiful. Samsung logo. Just a plain black box. This is looking really good. Opens up like a book. A little bit of tape. A little bit of tape. Let's slice that. This is gorgeous, y'all. Look at this, man. So we immediately greeted by the phone. Here's a tab so we could take it out. That looks nice. I don't even want to look at it right now. Let's look into the accessories. Got a T-Mobile SIM card. We have right here the box and the accessories. So they're going with the white adapter, the white micro, sorry, type C cable. You got to look into that type C cable. So you got USB A to type C. That's hot. We have an adapter. And we also have another adapter. So this, if you if you still want to use your micro USB cable, there you go. And we also have for the S Pen to remove the tips. And we also have the headphones. Now, don't let it fool you. The headphones, they're white. It would have been nice if it wasn't black. So we have traditional Samsung headphones that we all know. But listen, when you're paying so much for a phone, it's nice to get some little extras, especially headphones. So start guide, warranty information. You have something for a return. If you have to do a return, this is how. Look at this note. Wow. This is gorgeous. Look at that, man. Mm. This is nice. Almost look like a screen protector, but it's just giving you a little idea of how to change out the SIM card and the micro SD expansion. Look at that, man. This is hot, yo. This black, I'm so glad I chose black, man. This is true black. Real dark charcoal colors. Even the sides, man. Even the sides look really dark. This metal area. Look at this, man. This is gorgeous. Nice black glass in the back. The camera real flush. This 12 megapixel camera. Flash LED fingerprint uh, pulse reader in the back. You got the power buttons, the power button right here, volume keys on the other side. Here's your uh, SIM card slot. You have a microphone, another mic at the bottom. You got your uh, speaker, mono speaker, Type C, 3.5 millimeter jack, and you also have your S Pen. Look at this, man. Jeez. Samsung, you did a nice job designing this phone. I wasn't real excited about it, but man, looking at it now, this looks hot. So let's power this up and let's see. So, this Samsung Note 7 is rocking the latest Qualcomm chip, which is the Snapdragon 820. Rocking 4 gigs of RAM. Now, I wish it was more RAM, but 4 gigs of RAM, we got to see if that's going to work. 64 gigs of storage plus micro SD card where you can expand that out. What, 256 gigs? Really hot, man. All right, so I set everything up. Man, this iris scanner. 
I'm impressed. So if you swipe it up, let me give you guys a demonstration. If you swipe it up, look at that, man. I got to get a little closer. It's not seem to be working right now. Maybe because I'm behind the camera. You swipe up. Bang. Open. So you have to be close to a certain degree. Let me put up this brightness. Fingerprint scanner. On point. Um, yeah. Put up the brightness all the way. Let's try this iris scanner again. Swipe up. Get a little closer. It should have detected me already. So, listen. I'm going to have to try this out. Because when the phone was directly in front of me, it was on point. So, I got to put I gotta put my other thumb because that's what I use. But the fingerprint scanner is definitely the fastest way to go to get in your phone. The iris scanner is a pretty good backup. So, if you're on your way home, it's winter... You got your gloves on, so forth, and you need to get in your phone. That iris scanner pretty much should work. But man, what has really impressed me about the phone, because I haven't played with it, I just set it up, is the fingerprints doesn't, it, it's like it's trying to repel the fingerprints. So fingerprints are not going to be a big issue on this particular phone, but it's still going to be there. This display looks bezel-less. Look at the side bezels. You can't see the side bezels because of the curve, the slight curve in the display. This is hot, man. I'm impressed, man. We all, LG has always impressed me with small bezels, especially with that LG G2. But they kind of gone away from that, and Samsung has took that to the next level. Look at these small bezels, man. There's nothing that turns you on more than a phone with small bezels. This is hot. Samsung, pretty good job, I'm impressed. All right, so this is the part that I've been waiting for. See, this is the issue that I have. Look at the RAM. It says 1.3 gigs of RAM available. Storage, out of 64, you're, you have 52.1 available straight out the box. I didn't install none of my apps yet. You got your Google apps, which you know you're going to get your Google apps. It's a Google phone. T-Mobile. All these T-Mobile apps I don't need. Samsung. A lot of these Samsung apps I don't need. Facebook. I didn't download Facebook, but you're still giving me Facebook. Amazon. Yeah, I use Amazon, but I ain't download Amazon. You know, so where they get all this information from? Social, they give you Instagram, they give you WhatsApp. I ain't download that. So, it's a lot of stuff. So in your app drawer, this is what you got extra in your app drawer. Here's another pet pee. I use Chrome. I don't use their internet. You know I can't get rid of that. So there's a lot of bloatware apps out of your 64. At least now they're giving you 64 gigs of memory to play with. So pretty much I'm impressed by the phone. You still got your little quirks with the extra apps and the bloatware. But other than that, this is a nice phone. I love the little bezels. Love the curve. The pen. We got what we normally have with the pen. If you're familiar with it. You got your extra edge apps, your apps from the edge display, which I have to play with that. I have to check out the battery life. I got to use the phone how I normally would use a phone. I'm impressed the way the phone looks. I got to set it up the way I normally would set up a phone. But I'm telling you guys, if you're looking for a phablet that fits in your hand like a phone. What's wrong with this Note 7, man? So pretty much with that, guys, as I play around with this phone, I'm going to let you guys know if this is worth the $850. But man, it's a gorgeous phone. So pretty much with that, we'll see you in the next one.
type C charging, man. This is hot.